Downtown Appleton Christmas Parade kicks off tonight. Sue and Kathy with the Outagamie County Chapter of Thrivent Financial for Lutherans join us now with more. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. And Kathy's not with us today, Diego. right? <laughs> Sorry. Where's Kathy? <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> well, Sue, let's start with you um, and yes. tell us all about this year's Float and Thrivent's involvement with the parade. Well, this year we have uh, we are going to team up with um, the parade, and in between the Santa Scamper and the actual parade, Thrivent is going to try to can hunger. We are going to have a group of 80 students from surrounding high schools going out into the crowd and getting cans from everybody that comes to the parade. So we're hoping for 80,000 cans to support Thriving Cans Hunger. The parade, um, right after the Santa Scamper, will start off of State Street going from west to east, all the way down towards, and we'll end up at City Park. We'll be following the St. Joe's food truck, along with several trucks behind that, and all of the students will be going out into the audience to get cans from everybody. If just everybody would just bring one can to the parade, we'd have over 40,000 pounds of cans. Wow, Dan, this is a pretty big, uh, big event, big undertaking, isn't it? You got a lot of people working on this thing. It, it really is, and, and you know, I, I, I couldn't be prouder. Um, on behalf of the two and a half million members of Thrivent Financial, uh, it, it really warms my heart to know that, that the way that we put faith into action, connecting faith and finances, and demonstrating generosity in the community, um, I, I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this organization. And it, well, how do you feel about being part at, at night when you're there at the parade and you just see the community coming together? What kind of feeling do you get from that? Yeah, absolutely. Strengthening Christian communities is, is the number one mission that, that we live by every day. So being able to witness that firsthand in person, um, seeing people give of their time is a very generous thing for people to do. Um, really makes me feel proud. Well, Dan and Sue, thank you very much. And like you said, Sue, don't throw the cans at, the, at you, right? <laughs> You'll yes, have people going out and, and, and grabbing the cans tonight. during And, along and make sure you bring those cans. Um, and also, if you can't drop them off there, you can drop them off at St. Joe's Food Program in Menasha afterwards or at one of Thrive's locations. Oh, oh great. Good. In case people forget. Yeah. Well, have a great night tonight, and thanks for spending your morning with us.